Instagram family and welcome back to our on-demand class. Before we get started, we wanted to let you know that this warm-up is specifically written with our M30 program in mind. We have created an experience that allows for the warm-up, workout, and cool-down to be completed in 30 minutes or less. If you're an athlete that's looking for a more thorough warm-up, then we recommend hopping over to our M60 program where you can check out our typical warm-up routine there. All right. Let's get rolling. What's going on, Mayhem family? We're really excited today. We got two options, okay? So we're gonna take a step back. Our athletes, to be honest, are chomping at the bit. They've been sipping on coffee for an hour. Let's go check it out. So today, we're gonna have two options. We have the body weight option, and we also have the minimal option. We're gonna be doing four sets. We got two, or sorry, we got a interval going on. Athletes will do six, 25 feet shuttle run. So a shuttle run down 25 feet is one, back is two. So down, back, down, back, down, back. Once they get done with that, they will do for the body weight option, 15 squat to overhead reach. So Christy right here will show us a squat to overhead reach. Perfect, all the way down touching, pressing out overhead, kind of like, hey, at the top. And then from there, she will then go back into six 25 feet shuttle to over, or sorry, shuttle runs. Okay, so once she completes the six, then she goes back to 15 squats overhead reach, and then the set is done. So again, down, back, down, back, down, back, 15, down, back, down, back, down, back, 15, rest two minutes. Then at the end of the two minute rest, she will go through it again for four total sets. For the minimal, okay, over here, Corbin, our athlete, he will be doing six 25 foot shuttle runs also, all the way down, back six times or sorry, six, one, so one, two, and then after that, he will do 15 single dumbbell thrusters. Okay, so single, doesn't matter which arm, all the way up, pressing overhead, 15 on one. Then after he hits 15 reps, he will complete his shuttle run, down, back, down, back, down, back. Then he will go into 15 single arm thrusters on the opposite arm. So if he starts on his right, this arm he must, or this time he must go to his left, complete all reps on his left arm, and then he is done, he will rest two minutes. So just kind of backtrack real quick one more time. Four sets, 15 reps, shuttle run, or sorry, shuttle run first, 15 reps, shuttle run, 15 reps, rest two minutes. After two minutes is done, we'll go through it four times total. You guys ready to warm up? Good, I'm excited. So we're gonna set the clock for five minutes. What we're gonna have athletes start off with with this, we're gonna do a 25 foot, high knees, okay? So I'm gonna start the clock and I'm gonna kind of talk through it as, as they're moving. Okay, five, or like with the high knees, we're looking at just getting nice and light in the balls of the feet, okay? Pulling up, they're gonna go 25 feet down. So athletes, you may go ahead and begin. 25 feet with the high knees, nice. You can work on two, moving the arms like with the legs, okay? Just getting loose. After that, they will go 25 feet of butt kicks. So again, Pulling up, making sure the arms are moving again, like with the feet, pulling the heels to the butt. Okay, and again, just as close as you can. You don't have to knock yourself out. Then after that, they will do 50 feet of a lateral shuttle. Okay, so they're gonna face, we're gonna face this direction. They're gonna shuffle, or they're gonna shuffle their feet, not hitting their toes, or not bringing their feet together, all the way down and back, just one time. So down and back, nice and easy. Good fluent motion. Nice job. Then after that, they're gonna do a 50 foot jog. So a nice, easy, 50 feet down and back. Okay, this is also a good time. You can kind of work on like your shuttle as, as well. You don't have to, but if you're trying to dial in for the shuttle run standard wise, touching behind the line, working on your turn, it's a good time just to practice. Then they're gonna do a, or, or, or then they're gonna complete 15 air squats. So they're gonna get in their squat stance. Okay, shoulder width apart, chest up nice and tall for me. They can even reach their arms out as well, keep their chest up all the way down and up. Nice fluent motion, good. Breathing, again, try and stay nice and stable. Really think about getting your hips open as well. Good job, guys, nice job. And you know, during this time too, I can kind of look and see how my athletes are squatting. For them, it's perfect. They're in a good, comfortable you know, like position. Okay, if you're at home and, and kind of watching again, we really want to think about shoulder width, toes slightly turned out. If you're thinking about a clock, 11 o'clock, okay, one o'clock, like with your toes, keeping your toes, keeping your toes and feet gripping the ground is very important as well. 
Then they will go through five inchworms. Inchworms, two different options. Super flexible, we can bring our feet in, straight legs, walk all the way out, bound push up, walk all the way up. Or not as flexible, need a little bit of flexibility in there, we can go super wide with it. Goal is keep the legs nice and straight, walk all the way out. Go ahead and begin. Great posterior chain, warm up as well. Okay, because we're gonna be doing some running, gonna be doing some squatting, obviously. Nice shot, guys. This is Corbin's first time working out today, too, so he's really excited. Okay, Christy as well. Okay, it's always good to start your morning off with just one workout. Rolling through. Nice shot, guys, nice shot. Uh, once you get five, okay, we're gonna, okay, we still have, heck, two and a half minutes to go or so, so we're just gonna go through it just one more time, nice and easy. Because again, we're going through some intervals. Wanna get the heart rate up, so 25 feet, high knees, go ahead and go. Nice shot. Then 25 feet, butt kicks, going back. Now we can start to cruise. Then 50 feet, lateral shuffle. And then a 50 foot jog. On this one too, I want you guys to practice touching behind the line like with your fingers, okay, your hands. Okay, just one hand too, doesn't matter. Then you guys are gonna do your 15 air squats. Nice, good job, good job. Once you do your 15 air squats, you guys are gonna do your five inch worms, your five inch worms. Getting the shoulders nice and rolled out as well. A good thing too, especially because we are squatting as well, is focusing on your breathing. During the run, obviously it's a movement that's gonna kind of jack the heart rate up. We got shuttle runs, so it's some quick turns. So, you know, even during your squats, you wanna just think about being consistent each time and finding a point where to breathe. Like a rocket ship and stuff, you wanna think of like a thruster style. Breathe out, standing up, deep breath going back in the squat, keeping that core nice and secure as well. Nice. Good. Once you guys are finished, you can just relax. Then we'll kind of talk. We'll kind of talk through strategy and okay, get them prepared for their sets. You guys feel good? Everything nice and loose? Good. Good. Like I said, first time working out, so it's good. Um, so strategies on this, like we said, they're gonna be working, okay, interval style, working for the rest. That means when they cross or when they finish their 15th squat or thruster, they're gonna look at the clock and rest two minutes from where they finish. So if Christy finishes her set in two minutes and 30 seconds, that means she rests two minutes and she will begin her next set at the five and a half minute mark, four and a half minute mark. Check my math here. Okay, so at the four and a half minute mark, she will begin her next set and she will go again. Complete her shuttle run, hit her squats, complete her shuttle run, complete her squats, and then look at the clock again, resting two minutes. So. What I'm gonna have them do just one more time before we start, because again, we really wanna make sure that we dial in on our turn, because that's gonna be the harder part of the workout is the shuttle run and the turning aspect of it. I'm gonna have them just jog down, and then one more time, kind of think about getting behind the line touching, and then getting right back into their run, because pacing is gonna be key on this. So go ahead, Corbin and Christy, one more time. It's nice and easy, okay? Really think about touching, and then getting right back into that run, good. And once they get back, when you cross the line, you don't have to touch, obviously, because it's the end. And then you'll go right into your work. So it's important that they have everything set up. Now, during this time as well, you can start thinking about, for Christy, it's just body weight, so she's doing the squat to reach. We want to make sure, of course, with that movement, if Christy, if you could do just two more squat to reach for me. She's going all the way down, touching the ground, then reaching above her head at the top, pressing in that full lockout. Important to note that we still wanna make sure she completes the full squat movement. Hip crease below the knee, and in the press, we're reaching full extension. We're not doing the little dead arm press or anything at the top. She's not trying to just hip back. She's still maintaining a good position each time. Breathing, and this kind of, trans this kind of transitions into Corbin as well. Breathing is gonna be very important of where we're gonna to look to pause at, and that's gonna be at the top of the rep. When Corbin's doing a dumbbell thruster single arm, okay, he's gonna wanna squat, take that deep breath squat and breathe out and press to the top and then go right back into it. 
We're gonna give a half second pause at the top just to show stability, because that's what we want. We don't wanna pump through it and throw ourselves out of whack here. Okay, so if you're looking to breathe, that's where we need to be, is right at the top, pausing nice and secure, and then transition into the next rep as well. Remember, you don't have to use the same, or you have to complete all 15 reps on one arm, and then on the next time, you have to go to your other arm. But you can start on your right one round, and then start on your left the next round. You just have to alternate each 15 set or each 15 reps. Any questions? Are you guys excited? Excited for your first workout? All right. So let's get them. Let's get them going here. If you're at home and you're ready to jump in, it's going to be fun. 25 feet is going to fly by. We're trying to stay consistent. That's our focus. We want to try and stay consistent on our set times. So your first set, think about kind of being like your test pace. Okay, test it out, don't come out crazy hot, but test the waters out a little bit. Then that second and third and fourth is where you wanna maintain and maybe sell out the last one. We'll see what happens. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Going in, 10 seconds. Hit those shuttle runs first, six of them. Going in, three, two, one, and go. Nice job, good touch. Perfect. There's two reps right there. Nice, good, Corbin. Good, Christy. Great pace. There's four. And look at that. There we go. Nope, oh, nope, oh, that's it. Nice. I got you, Corbin. Don't, don't you worry. Good. 15 reps. Nice job. Good. Christy's keeping a nice, solid base right here. Okay, she's not pumping through these like you know, like a jackrabbit or anything like that. She's breathing through the motion. Corbin, too, has got a great movement going. 50-pound dumbbells for, for men, for ladies, 35. That's the recommended weight. Ideally, something you can do 15 times unbroken, though. And look at that. Christy's going right into her next set. Perfect. And Corbin will go back behind the line when he starts. Perfect. Nice shot, guys. Nice shot. Good. Down is one. Back is two. Nice job. A good way to remember this too is think odd and even. Okay, odd and even. Nice, Christy, good. Hitting that next set, that's perfect. Good job, good job. Good steady cadence, doing great, doing great. Remember, once you get done, take a look right at the clock. Okay, look at where you're at, make sure to hit that two minute rest. Nice, going good. Great, great movement, great movement. Breathe through. Good job transitioning. Good, Christy, nice. You saw the time, right, Christy? Perfect. Good, Corbin, once you get done, take a look at that time. Great movement, great movement. Look at that, minute 44. You guys feel okay? Yeah. There's one, there's one. Super excited, you can tell by the look on their face. Didn't, didn't even phase them. Hey, so two minute rest, during this rest time, it's the most important part of getting your heart rate back down. And you kind of start to think, okay, where can I make up time? Or where can I actually maybe modify like my pace a little bit to sustain it for the next three sets? So if you're already out of it, if you already feel like you're mentally shot, then you have to start thinking, okay, where, where do adjustments need to be made? Is it the run? Is it the thrusters? Do I need to adjust my weight a little bit or my cadence? Okay. So remember, when you go to start, Christy, what time are you starting? 3.33. So make sure when it's your time to go, you're behind that line and you're ready to pick it up right into that next shuttle run. How do you feel, Corbin? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good, good. I want to make sure. I want to check. Checking in. Okay, do a little heart rate check. Really think about, too, as you're running, keeping your grip loose. Because sometimes, like, when athletes take off running, even though it's not a grip intense, you know, intensified workout, but if you're gripping, then you're tense. Your shoulders start to tense up. Yeah, you really want to think about relaxing and getting nice and steady. What time do you go, Corbin? 3.44. Corbin's time to shine at that time. Okay. And again, consistency. Christy knows okay, what she hit prior. Okay, so now she's just trying to maintain. Okay, so you got about 10 seconds. If you have a whiteboard at home, too, that's a huge thing to have, or just a piece of paper. Something to have along the lines, we're gonna get going. Right, Christy? Yep. Here we go. I'm gonna run it with you, whole time. Nope, she beat me. Good. 
Good job, good job. Good job. Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six. And here goes Corbin. Here we go. You guys doing great. Nice, Christy, good. Getting right into it too. So Christy knows, hey, she could probably make up a little bit of time. She felt good after that very first set. So maybe you try and pick up the pace a little bit. And like I said, that first set is almost like a test pace. You feel it out a little bit. Yeah, you make sure you don't come out of it like a, like a cannon. Good. good, Corbin. Breathe at the top, nice and steady. Nice, Christy, right back into it. Good job, guys. Good. Touching behind each time. Doing great. Uh, Corbin's got a great squat with the two. He's driving through his midfoot, good and stable at the top, which is what we always look for in any type of pressing movement. We never want to press the weight away from the body. Okay, where we're most stable and strongest is where it's supported right over top. We want to be stacked. Very important. Good job, Corbin. Come on, buddy. come on. Doing good. Good job, Christy. Make sure to check that time. Nice. Good job, Corbin. Deep breath, buddy. Good job, Christy. Is that faster? Look at that. Look at that. Nice, Corbin. Good. Breathe through. Also, too, something to think about your non dominant to your dominant arm. You know, which arm is stronger? Which arm do you need to kind of cater to a little bit? You know, if your left arm, your non-dominant might be your weaker, you may want to really think about making sure you alternate and almost double rest it. Okay, start on the right, okay, end on the left. Next round, maybe start on the left, end on the right, something like, like that. Hey, okay, but that two minute rest, oh, nice. You look at your time? Okay, good. Nice. So now we're going into the round three. Anytime, or sorry, set three. Set three. Round three, okay, doesn't matter. Usually the last round, or the round before the last, is the make or break round. Okay, that's where you're trying to hold on because obviously the last round mentally, you're like, all right, I'm done after this. Okay, for some athletes, the round leading up to that is where they're like, I don't know, and this is where you really wanna try and hone in on that pace. Really try to get your heart rate back down, push through mentally, find that sweet spot. Where are we starting, Christy? 6.59 is go time. We're cruising. We're cruising. You all right, Corbin? Oh, yeah. All right. All right, good. Stay loose with it, too. You know, like we said, you know, walk around a little bit. I know it's easier said than done, but get everything loose. Okay. Make sure I'm out of Christy's way here so she can, so she can light it up. You going to try going faster? Nice. Nope. Nope. Okay. I have to. I have to make sure Corbin is okay. Yep. Yep. I want to make sure. Want to make sure. So here we go. Christy starting set three here. Two, one, and we're off. We're off. Nice. And you know too, like for this body weight option, that might be something too to where, you know, there's no added weight to it. So you know you might be able to, in, you know, you might be able to increase. But I think again, that's where it's so crucial. You test it out with the first round a little bit lighter, and then see if you can hang out and go. What time are we rolling, Corbin? Oh, baby. All right, come on, Corbin. We're rolling right through here. And go. Nice shot, nice shot. Good, touch behind, nice. Hey, Christy, good. Reach overhead. Good base. Christy staying nice and flat on her feet too, like as she's squatting. Okay, still maintain a good solid turn each time. If you notice too, there's so many different styles of how to perform the turn. You got the traditional way of just running past and then turning behind and touching and then going. Okay, new age way athletes are starting to turn around before they get past the line touch and then go. You can jump into it as well. Okay, so many different ways. You gotta find what works best for you and allows you to maintain efficiency. All right, because in workouts like this, Every half millisecond is so important, okay? There can be so much time won and lost just by getting to your dumbbell as well. Nice shot, Corbin. See, nice shot. We're almost done right here. Faster? What the heck? Nice, Corbin. Good job. Just maintain. Doing great, buddy. Doing great. Pushing through. 
at a boy. Good. Cross. Nice shot. Nice shot. Last set of 15 here. Hey, take a deep breath. Breathe through overhead. Weight selected on, on this, I would love to say it should be something that you, I wouldn't say comfortably, but off the start, you should be able to hit 15 reps like unbroken each time. It will get tough. That's how the workout is designed, especially when you're pushing. But you don't want to start off with something where you're almost going to failure right off the start. Otherwise, it's not going to end well. Okay, and Corbin's doing a great job with that. He's driving through, and look at that. Nice, Corbin. What time are we rolling, Kristen? 125. Last one. This is where, okay, we'll see how Corbin dials it in here, but for Kristen and stuff, I really want to see her try and push, obviously maintain movement quality. Make sure you're still completing the full squat to the press, touching behind the line, standards are still being kept. Okay, but we do want to try and see if we can maybe have our fastest round here. I think it's possible. One more, Corbin. Oh, yeah. One more. We're, we're in it. We're not. Yeah, we can't stop. Nice shot. Come on, Christy. Here we go. Say 10, 20, 25. 10, 25. My favorite number. So, 10. Either one. Either one. We are moving. Okay, so last one. And again, if you add up even all the reps too, think about for Corbin as well. He's doing 30 thrusters, 30 single arm thrusters each set. Okay, so that's 120 reps. It is a lot and it does add, it does add up. Look at that, Christy's right on. She's getting into it, getting good turns. What time do you go, Corbin? M14, nice shot, nice shot. Nice, Christy, good. She's making her turns even a little bit quicker. Now she's stepping right into it and going, okay? Holy cow. I'm excited. I'm, okay. Rolling through, nice, Christy, good job, good job. So last one, last one, you're done. Nice, you hit that 15 step right behind that line and you're going. What time, Corbin, again? 11.14, I knew it. I knew it. Nice, Christy, come on. We're rolling, Corbin. Here we go. And taking off. There goes Corbin. Last one. Okay, he's trying to push through. Nice job, Christy. Come on, get behind the line. Step right into it. Let's go. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Come on. Eight, nine. That a girl. 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, one more. Christy, you can do a couple more sets. Nice shot. Corbin, nice. Come on, buddy. Last set, you're breathing through. Absorb that weight down. Good, pop through the hips. Pop through the hips. Always remember, your hips are the most important part of any type of press or anything like that. Okay, explosive, total body movement. We really want to emphasize the drive in the hips. Nice, Corbin. Come on, buddy, come on. Come on, push through, push through. You're doing great. Doing great, just maintain. Nice. Good, good settle. Relax, okay, get your breathing under control. Nice, down and back. Look at that. Come on, Corbin, come on, buddy, come on. You cross that line, then right to your dumbbell. Take a deep breath. 15 reps, you're done. 15 reps, you're done. We know what this feels like, okay? It's best to pick it up and try and settle in as you're going. There's one, there's two, three, four, five, six, good, come on. Seven, eight, nine, there's 10, come on. 11, 12, come on. 13, two more. 14, one more. Look at that, 15. All right. Nice, Corbin. One more set, right? Oh. No, no. Nice job. Nice job. Awesome job. If you did this, whether you did it body weight or you did it with the weight, okay, it doesn't matter. This workout is all about what you put into it, okay? Yes, you could you could start off and maintain very low intensity all the way through, and you'd probably be able to go 20 rounds. But if you really settle in and try and maintain consistency and see if you can improve each time or try and hold on, okay, the effects, crazy. 
Okay, so we're gonna let them calm down for a second, get their heart rate under, or get their heart rate under control. I don't want to just send Corbin right into the abyss and uh, just start ripping through stretching. But okay, what'd you think, Corbin? Okay, I mean, as far as like, you know, it's hey, very first workout. You did great. You're nice and warm. Yeah, I, uh, the third set for some reason was the hardest for me to mentally push through. Um, I really thought my right side was my weakness, so I kind of started on my left just to push through. But I couldn't find a good side up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, thrusters, I mean, I mean, we all know, thrusters like a wall ball, okay? It's the breathing aspect of it, especially mixed like with the running. You get that heart rate up, it, it's it's hard to relax, you know, it is. But I mean, you move through each time. I mean, like, I, you know, I'm like, I'm broken, so. Yeah, that's awesome. How do your shoulders feel? Spicy. Like, spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I said, first one of the day, so, you know, you're getting warm, you're getting rolling. Awesome job, man. Thank you. Did great. And hey, wait, were you able to hold on? Like, I mean, consistently pacing? I think it was pretty close. Yeah, I would say, looking at it too, you're unbroken each time. Christy, tell me. It was great. Uh, the squats got spicy, definitely. The yeah. second set. It's quick. The second set of the squats each round yeah. was super burning, but it was great. And it's like, you know, like squats are a movement. I wouldn't say you're gonna fail. You know, or you know, like you're gonna necessarily reach that point, but it's all about like the burn, getting uh -huh. into it and realize, hey, just get through it as fast as you can. Yeah, yeah exactly. How did it feel going back into the run? Did you guys feel like your legs were, yeah, 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 just kind of getting like a little jelly going and stuff? Every, I'll say everybody has one. Okay, everybody has one. And that's the thing too. You cater to your strengths as well. You know, you try and find those areas where you can be a little quicker on and you know, try and use those to your advantage to try and sustain or also improve. You guys ready to stretch? Yeah. All right, all right. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a one minute Samson lunge stretch, okay, just on each side. So Christy here, she's gonna go out in a deep stretch. She's gonna bring her arms up overhead, just like Corbin's doing as well, as hard as, hard as it may be. During this time too, we're not really so much thinking about pushing our knee forward, but like Christy's doing, she's driving her hips down. Okay, and that's also very important too on this. We're not trying to put all the pressure to our knee. We're trying to relax our low back and allow our hips with every breath we take to sink down nice and calmly. Okay, so it's relax, breathe through. Don't just hold your breath. With every breath you take, see if you can sink your hips a little deeper and deeper. Okay, but one minute. Once you guys hit the one minute on one side, you're gonna rotate, or sorry, transition and go one minute onto the other. If you need to change this up a little bit too, if you got a box or something like that, you can place your foot up on a box and just get in a little deeper hip stretch with it and breathe as well. Hey, good options. You have an ab mat, you can put it underneath your knee or something to kind of cushion. Arms a little toasty still there. Yeah, yeah, mine too. Yeah, mine too. Once they get done with that, then they're gonna transition into a one minute scorpion stretch. Okay, so scorpion stretch, the way this one works is you're gonna lay flat on your guys' stomach. Okay, then from here, you're gonna put your arms out like a T or like a cross, and Christy's gonna take her opposite leg and bring it to her opposite side, just like that. Now, if you can, that's really good, and actually touch your opposite hand. I cannot, okay, Corbin's very close. Okay, but you're gonna do that and just kind of alternate back and forth, okay? so. Maybe hold just for like a few seconds. You're not trying to rip it or force it. Just relax, let the leg go over, breathe through, keep the arms nice and flat on the ground. If you guys did this at home too, awesome job with it. You know, high five each other around, call your grandma up, tell her what you just did. Okay, stuff like that, tell your neighbor, go to the grocery store, show them what a show run is. Okay, all this stuff is so, great that you can just pick it up, do it at home, you can do it with your friends. Okay, but again, hope you guys had a great time. Thank you for following along. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Thanks, nice job. Oh, yeah. Corbin, nice job. Corbin. Great work today. We are so glad that you were able to join us for another challenging and fun workout. If you are already a Mayhem athlete, be sure to log your score in SugarWad, fist bump a fellow athlete along the way, and leave a comment. If you enjoyed today's workout and are looking to become a part of the Mayhem family, we would love to have you as an everyday athlete doing these types of workouts every day.
If you're looking for a more in-person experience, then you can check out the Mayhem Affiliate map to see if there's a Mayhem Affiliate close to you. Um, just head over to our website, check out the maps, and we look forward to seeing you for the next on-demand class.